Pharrell, when you get a guy um, that throws legs in on you and, and you ride legs or... And, and you know legs as well as you do. Do you feel like that gives you an advantage? It looked like you were pretty comfortable when he was riding and then clearly rode him for a long time. Yeah, um, I just spent a lot of time in that position and over the last couple of years. And um, I just know that if I choose bottom, I'm going to get away. So that's kind of the game plan. And if he throws a leg in, then that's all right with me because I know I'm just going to get out or get a reversal and just keep scoring points. That's kind of what I'm thinking about if I, somebody throws a leg in on me. In the back. Hey, Kale. Um, with the video review, what was going on with that? It seemed like Rutgers may not have known. It seemed like there was Yeah, I think we yeah. just didn't have it available. Uh, they did know. They knew we were working on it. Yeah, so that was just, uh, um, just an error. We just didn't have it. It happens every once in a while, unfortunately. Right. It's not good, but yeah, yeah. We just didn't have the video available, review available. Questions? Uh, Hold on. Can you take the mic, please? Thank Sorry. you. Yep. Uh, both Terrell and Lucas, you guys wrestled up weights and both got uh, upset wins over ranked wrestlers. What's going through both of your heads, and how are you feeling? Um, yeah, it feels good. I mean. I didn't know I was going to wrestle till like halfway through the duel, but I was just ready to go. And uh, I guess I'd just be feeling grateful that I had the opportunity to wrestle. Um, yeah, moments like those, like Coach Kelly says, moments like those come and go quickly. So um, just got to take advantage of those opportunities. Anyone? I'll follow up on that a little bit. Um, when, when you don't know you're wrestling until halfway through the meet, are you always just prepared mentally to go at any moment? Um, and when Kale comes to you and says, hey, you're, you're in um, against a top 10 guy like that, what, what kind of goes in, into your men mental preparation to get ready for that? Yeah, I think I'm just always ready. Um, obviously, things just happen. And yeah, I'm always planning on wrestling. If I don't wrestle, then kind of a little bit sad, but I mean, you're just always ready, so just stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Right here. Kale, how important was it uh, for Brayden and then Tyler to bounce back tonight, especially on a big stage at the BJC? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they're both competitors and they, uh, you know, went out to, to score points tonight and I don't think they looked uh, phased in any way, so yeah, I think they're you know they're good to go and we, we just had as a team we had a lot of sickness going through so that's why we were kind of trying to figure out who was going to wrestle where and obviously Carter was out and um, Greg was sick and, and Aaron was sick also and he was uh, um, you know said he wanted to still still battle in there which we we're um, really happy for so and then um, so that's kind of how that went so a lot of sickness going on. obviously Rutgers they had some guys out there line up uh, coach Goodell said they were sick too so just a tough time of the year in the back. Coach, with the win tonight, Penn State becomes a sixth D1 program all time to have a thousand career dual wins. What Can you speak as to the winning program and the history here and of course picking up win 200 on Friday against Iowa? Uh, yeah, I, I think you know we're, we're very proud to be a part of this program and the tradition, uh, more so just the people that have been involved in the program, the you know the former coaches, the alumni um, are just you know the best of the best kind of people so you know we're happy to carry this flag here for you know a short short time but um proud to be at penn state happy to be at penn state in the back oh actually hold on sorry Aunt, or go ahead Nate. uh Terrell, just a question for you is you know how is it a guy that has your caliber of wrestling is just kind of content hanging around here and not necessarily going anywhere else especially with the whole the transfer portal rules and things like that yeah, um, you know, I just plan on wrestling no matter what and train like, uh, you know, this is the place that I want to be. And I know if, like, you look at all the guys that are in our starting lineup, you know, they're, they're national champ caliber. And, you know, I'm in there competing with the best of them. And I just know I'm ready whenever uh, Coach needs Coach Kill needs me. And um, tonight was, like, that night. And so I'm always ready to go no matter what. And that's kind of the mindset that I, that I have. And, you know, you don't, you don't want to have, like, be thinking about, like, oh, I'm not going to be wrestling, you know. It's just, like, 
there's like a more excellent way in a sense to, to like think about things you can either choose to be kind of like a like a Debbie Downer about it and you're just not going to get any better I, in my opinion if you're just like going into practice thinking every day you're like oh what's this for um, no I just I love going in and even with like Mitchell I like love watching him even though we compete against each other every day like he might not know it but like I look up to him just in the way that he competes because that just makes me you know want to follow up and just keep keep climbing with him so yeah in the back um, also for you Terrell uh, obviously a win always feels good but a win in the BJC is even bigger I saw kind of like a childlike grin on your face after the win what was the feeling like yeah it was it was sweet you know I've, I've been bumping up a weight you know uh, making close to 65 pretty much every time and just to know that like the guy thinks that he's bigger than me and stronger than me and faster than me and just like beating him and being like yeah in your face you know a little <laughs> bit but yeah it was fun and kind of like when he started getting tired I was like oh here we go so that was fun. Kale, we received wins from Lucas and Terrell on a night like this do you think this could be your best and deepest team you've had at Penn State? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know the answer to that. You know, we're just trying to be the best team that we can be this year. And we we have just a lot of really good people that are fun to work with every day. Like you know, these two right here. I mean, they're in here pushing and and filling in and beating ranked wrestlers, like like you said. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, we're just uh, just gonna try to uh, keep getting better as we you know progress along here. And you know, we only have I think two more duels, and we're into the postseason, so it comes and goes quickly. And this goes for any three of you. How did you feel about Monday Night Wrestling? I mean, it's not common. Um, you know, everybody knows WWE has Monday Night Raw, but you know, how does it? How does it feel to have a Monday Night? I got an exam on Thursday, so I got a little stress on it. But yeah, I got to study. So, yep. I think uh, it was, we appreciate the fans that came out. You know, I know Monday night is not ideal uh, to travel, and, you know, a lot of the fans feel up the, you know, the arena are traveling, so uh, we appreciate that. And I think it was a little lower lower energy, especially coming off of uh, some big duels the last, um, just a couple of days ago and last week and the week before, um, to come back on a Monday. Uh, but that's kind of why we were trying to come up with something that would be a little bit more exciting, so, you know. Uh, did the throwback colors and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I don't know what do you guys think about the Monday night. You think it's what we should do? No, no. <laughs> Everyone wants to go home. So you got to work tomorrow. You know? <laughs> Jim, go ahead. Kale, uh, big win Friday on the road. You come back dealing with some illnesses and all. How do you guard against a letdown? Is that even possible, or you know, what do you, you have to do? Uh, a letdown in just like because coming off that match or yeah. you're saying. Um, well, our, we had guys that were sick uh, Friday also, and they wrestled through it. And you know, like like Greg, if we needed him, he was gonna he was gonna jump in there. But he was uh, pretty stinking uh, pretty stinking sick. So, um, and uh, and you know, like that, opportunities come up, and you know, Lucas is ready to jump in there and wrestle up a weight class, uh, weighed in obviously at 97, and it's a great experience for these guys. You know, I mean, they're super valuable members of this team and big part of what we're doing and um, and so uh, yeah I think I think everything has kind of worked out but we kind of anticipated you know be coming back on a Monday wouldn't necessarily be um, something our guys were super excited about but um, you know Rutgers is in the same boat and, and uh, you know our guys uh, uh, made the most of it you know I don't know if we wrestled great I don't know if they'd say they wrestled great but um, moving on Kale, you mentioned that it moves quick, especially here at the end. What goes into making sure your guys are kind of peaking at the right time as your programs tend to do and have done in the past heading into March? Uh, I just uh, try to stay out of Coach Cody and Coach Casey's way and let them do their thing. Um, we just want our guys to, you know, be clear on what they want and, you know, full of enthusiasm as we get to the end and just kind of train that way. And, and uh, we've been fortunate to be able to uh, to do that in, in past years, and this year will be the same. Uh, Kale, uh, Aaron dropped an, another one tonight. Um, he looks like he's um, 
wrestling in some tough matches. What kind of advice could you give him moving forward to, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, get Snake a and Brooks. Better. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Nagao. Uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, he wrestled a tough opponent. He was in on the legs um, multiple times. So just little tiny things. It's it's the same thing. Just little tiny things. Um, you know, I have a lot of confidence in him, and you know, he's. When you have the character that he has, I mean, he's going to just keep getting better. His best will be when it, when it counts the most. Time for two more in the back. So I'm going to mic to. Guys, just. Guys, just kind of talk about the, the environment uh, going out there and wrestling. Obviously, you guys haven't had as much mat time as probably you guys would have liked this season, but kind of coming out there for the Bryce Jordan Center match, going out to that entrance, and kind of having the whole spectacle with the flames, all the sparks, and everything. Yeah, um, I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, for me, at least, I'm just kind of like zoned in. All of that's just like, I don't know. I, it just doesn't even cross my mind, really. Terrell? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Lou on that. I'm just kind <clears> of <throat> thinking about, like, my system and what I want to do in the match, and, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Do we have any others? Last one. Go ahead. Thank you. For Terrell and Lucas, your Coach Anderson just said, uh, regarding Aaron Agal, his best is when it counts. How does he guarantee that you guys are going to be the, at your best when it counts? How does your coaching staff do that, and specifically Coach Sanders? Full faith. Um, I think all of us, even Miguel, has full faith, and you know, Miguel's the man, and we're always there for him, and um, we'll be ready to rock come March. Yeah, I think just uh, his track record proves itself. Um, yeah, just trusting the coaches, trusting their process, trusting our process. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.